you can just request a match, get into starter, customize a team real quick, or try something new. It, it, it's very accessible. Oh, um, yeah. Hey. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I, was, uh, I wasn't expecting Rius. It's going to be interesting for sure. So it's the type of Rius that I'm bringing um, that I think you'll find really interesting. Um, so I'm mm. just going to throw up a couple of my, my guys' builds for those that are just like, oh, okay, I kind of get it. Uh, Reyes in particular. Oops, not AI. So this one, this one is pretty crafty. Reyes, I, oh man, this one is like an all-in kind of character. Oh, yeah. And very much a, like, one-shot, a one-trick pony. And if it doesn't go well, oh, boy. All right, can pretty much jump anywhere. Oh, I love ninja jumping. It's good enough for me. I am scared already. Yes. Be scared. <laughs> Let the fear consume you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, that's that's how I talk smack when I play video games. <laughs> Say got, weird... Yeah, you got me riled up. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't see a lot of, like, black mages with Aido, so that's cool. Yeah, it's, um... Oh, don't do that. Wow, okay. Ah, oh, man, I like, I can't not have a break, like a rend character on my team now. They're just so convenient to like, oh, I got nothing to do. Okay, fine. Pop. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, so let's do... Ooh, wow, cool. It's a cool build. White mage or white magics, but still sky seer mm -hmm. and a dragoon. Okay, interesting with Tynar Rouge. Wow, summoning with Rod of Faith that's gonna be a lot of damage. She's she's like your artillery, maybe we'll see. Man, I'm already having, like, flashbacks to this level. Like, I, I played this map in the storyline recently, mm -hmm. and I had no idea that I could get Protect Rings from the shop, and that would nullify Sleep and Doom simultaneously. Like, And that's, like, the primary attack from the demon, Ku Klain, at the yeah. end of Chapter 2. And it's like... Oh, are you having trouble with this fight? Here, take this. So, um, after getting my ass handed to me by him several times, I'm like, okay, maybe I should just restart, go through Lionel Castle Gate, kill Gathgarian once again, but this time, come in with Protect Rings, and then I killed him the first time through. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely see that. I've got a Kiyomori Shatter there. That's all good though. There's only one in the inventory. There should there should be two. Um, thankfully I caught oh. that. So it shouldn't be too much ridiculous. We're in such a small map that that protect uh, protect shield should carry through the entire match. Okay. And if not, then well, you know, I might be in trouble then. But we'll see. I understand. Not too worried about that as much. Like if I had a uh, Chirage Raiden or Kiku Chimunji break early, that would kind of suck. Whoa, okay. I think we knew exactly what you Yeah, I did not expect that to happen. Okay. But now that it did, I should take advantage of it. You should. That's a that's a triple Woof. kill. Nice. Woof. Did nobody have mana shield or did it just not proc? Um let's see. Shira Shira Oh my. No, I did not have mana shield against that. Oof. That is rough. That was rough. But it's fair, though. It's I, fair. I, I, had, I had too many sure It was a big risk for 
trying to teleport that far, but I mean the payoff was going to be massive. Exactly, exactly. Oh, I love being invisible. Okay, here we go. Um I really hope this hits in positioning. God, I hope so. Um, did I'm you on. cast it on your it's on the dragoon. dragoon? Yeah. And your dragoon has Sage's Ring? Exactly. Well, no, Miner oh. Miner 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 Minerva. That one had Minerva, but okay, okay. it would have it wouldn't have been any damage uh, to it anyways. Exactly. Yeah. But sadly that for me, rad. it did not hit. That is the risk you play with using RNG attacks. I feel you. <laughs> um, so, oh man, that is such a cool build. I, I love using tanks as your target for um, spells. Mm. That was the plan. I was going to, uh, I think I had the Onion Knight and Sages ring, so that way I could have it targeted by the Sky Mantra abilities, and then just kind of have it go in, put pressure in. I wasn't expecting the Onion Sword break, but also the biggest thing, even b beyond that, the break wasn't even that big of a problem. The biggest problem was that I got caught early with speed. So that that, mm. that was probably one of the fastest games I think I've ever played. <laughs> Far and away. <laughs> yeah. I... You're getting into that. That was that was good. That was yeah, good. GG, GG. That I I can't believe like I got that teleport. That was a ten percent chance teleport. That's that's worth it though, man. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Oh yeah. I'm gonna reload <laughs> my to save here. Just let everybody know. Just let everyone know that never happens. Go reload my game. Um, so yeah, GG. I, I I mean I feel bad that that was so fast. No, but no, like... no, no, no. No, that's that's fair, man. That's that's how it works, right? Like some things, some things are are better suited against others based on compositions. Like just to even briefly go over my mishaps in that game, that game one. Um, so as Mikey had mentioned earlier, when he his charge Raiden went off and he got the teleport. Hey, did you not have mana shield? So that was probably my biggest pro biggest mistake, honestly, because I had too many Shira Hadoris loaded on, I believe it was three, three of the four units that got hit um, with mm -hmm. the Dragoon mm -hmm. only with Soulbind. So that Soulbind wasn't going to save it because that's too much damage versus HP. So it's going to get KO'd regardless. Now, if I had managed to get it, yeah, that was going to be good return damage. But um, I wasn't better suited to take that damage. So... That's why it's usually important to have a mixture of different reactions like Mana Shield, some Shira Dori, maybe some Soul Bind, uh, stuff like that to kind of counteract certain plays like that because Shira Dori isn't going to stop in a Yato. Mana Shield will, if you get the, you know, if you get the proc, it's still Bravery uh, percent base, but so yeah, it's, it's fair. <laughs> I, I appreciate the humility. <laughs> No, I mean, that's... I think some people would be like, oh, F this game, and like throw their PSP on the ground. No. I, I hope that's not this community. I, I kind of doubt it. No. Um, I mean, the big, the biggest thing is to highlight the faults that I had. I mean, instead of me like, oh, you know, fuck this game. Uh, like, no, I'd rather just say, you know, based on that play, what happened? Why did it happen? So nice. that's exactly what happened. Like, why did I get nuked? right off the bat you sure you got a lucky teleport i mean yeah you teleported from one spot across the map but the the moment was in your favor so you might as well take advantage of which is i mean honestly i would have done the same thing it's no different if i got to teleport that far yeah i'm going to go in cherry geranium so or there, unholy sacrifice like a, or whatever there'd be that lingering thought in the back of my mind like is teleport broken nah <laughs> nah, it's not that. Nah, I don't think it's that broken. It's it's worth Does it. Does Mikey oh. have a contract with Satan? <laughs> well, I don't know anything about that, but <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't. But um, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's. I think it's important to highlight 
those issues um you know when when you when you see them when they happen um because that's the only way that any person can improve themselves it doesn't even matter if it's tactics doesn't matter if it's a totally different video game especially when you're playing uh you know competitively it's important to always try to figure out what happened why this happened you know maybe i need to make something change something up a little bit next time so uh, that's why i, I wanted it. to highlight that specifically i love it you know that yeah it goes beyond just video games too for I know my audience is like around my age, which is cool. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to my peers and, you know, hanging out with the homies. Uh, but, you know, you probably know too that being, you know, getting good feedback, uh, like in life and in work is the only way to make improvements. If somebody told you like, hey, you're doing it kind of funky, try doing it like this. You do, you improve and you get better at stuff. So. Um, yeah, so Yosh, I'm ready to join a, another match. Sure, yep. Uh, hosting in three, two, one. Joining. And just sh giving a shout out to Luis and Marvinus. <laughs> cool name. Um, how's it going, guys? Thank you for dropping by and checking out the stream. Hope you enjoy the PvP, <laughs> the PvP footage, the PvP, uh, PvP stream? That's not, that sounds yeah. terrible. It's a PvP live stream. Yeah. There we go. That's, that's, that's good enough. Um, oh, one more thing I want to highlight, too, before we get into the next match. Um, one other thing I think played a very disadvantageous pick for me was the map. So that map, Absolutely. Th that map in particular, 100%. and the way you were comped at versus the way I was comped out, was very l much leaned towards you automatically because... I was using a cast time ability, and the team is set up to primarily like work around that. So, with you having mm -hmm. a higher speed advantage in the beginning, and even though thankfully you didn't get like one of those instant jumps on me, but <laughs> even though you were able to act and get kind of your units on the board and where you wanted them early, um, it was going to be a, a, disadvantage, uh, a disadvantage for me because I need, I guess we'll call it setup time to really get that setup running. So. That was another problem, too, I want to highlight, and why this also an emphasis where uh, maps are also, they play a huge role with what you build towards. So it is important to kind of maybe kind of keep that in the back of your mind as you're building something. Um, like if I get a small map roll, I may have a problem, you know, maybe on small maps or medium-sized maps because this comp is designed to, like, blitz you early, which if anyone doesn't know yes. what blitzing is, it's like pretty much going straight for the opponent early in the first one to two turns just to get damage out as fast as possible. Um, or it might be something that requires setup time, which is what this that team comp required. So that's another thing that kind of wasn't in my favor. But that's all good, though. Either way, let's get to the next one, right? <laughs> you got it, boss. <laughs> all right. Um, Alias Tour. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad you brought up the speed of the game and how small maps favor faster comps. Um you know, in a, a tournament setting, or, you know, what will hopefully be a tournament, um, I would like for, you know, all players to lock in their, their team, and everyone gets randomized maps, so it's like, my team either is a one-trick pony and has got five jumping ninjas, or it is a, like you know, super slow uh, comp where it's like all tanks and all mm -hmm. healers and casters that need a lot of charge time, but then they do a lot of damage in return. And large maps favor those types of builds. They do. Yep. Uh, quick question before we go on the next time one. and space. Sorry, go ahead. Not, not, well, that was me more or less cutting you off, but um, I just wanted, one, I wanted to ask real quick, are we doing any substitutes for game two? Are you, you want to do that? Or oh, you want sure. to stick with yeah. Think, huh? Okay. Yeah, totally. Um, all right, totally. Cool. You can sub out. Okay, so I'm gonna sub out one character for this. <laughs> I know how I just went on a spiel about like you gotta lock in your list. <laughs> lock it down, yeah. boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then and then you're all. But, but can I switch them out? No. Nah, yes, of course. Um, <laughs> I just want to make sure that you know we were both because I don't think we talked about it before we started. Um, oh, we, we did talk about it before all this, but I didn't know if you wanted to go ahead and do that or not. So yeah, yeah, no, it, sure. it's fine. Like we're, we're trying stuff out. It's, it's a live stream, you know, 
I, I think the expectation is like anything's supposed to happen. Yeah. Um, so. Um, also, by the way, check out Tactics League YouTube where uh, Yoshinja has amassed quite a collection of recent PvP matches, and some of those are of yours and, you know, yours truly, so I'm a little biased. <laughs> that said, uh, we did have a really interesting match lately with... Um, just I just want to say everything is broken um, in oh, this yeah. game. So it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of fun to play. Uh, hopefully you enjoy watching it too. So definitely check out his channel and subscribe. All right. See this like this map is much worse for my jumping jacks. Yeah, you gotta get you gotta push in at least midway to get jump. And what kind of what what kind of stinks is. I need to like move up, you know, and I don't like moving DPS if I don't need to. I'd rather yeah. them just chill and wait for you to come to me and then I can act. Right. Um, save on count time. Uh, it's just like, I, I've found this strategically, you know, more advantageous to, you know, approach like that. Um, but, you know, if, if two players are both playing like that, someone's going to have to make the first move, right? Exactly, yeah. At some point. Even if it's kind of an all-in, you know what, I'm just going to go and try to get, like, nuke someone down, especially as the act limit oh, yeah. gets further in. Um, and it's going to be kind of more of a race to how many KOs can you get before the act hits 40. So <laughs> that's... I, I kind of foresee some of that maybe happening in high-level play, um, you know, when things get really, really tough. Will you stop that? <laughs> sure. Thank you. <laughs> she's, she's such an ankle biter. She's such a pest. Oh my I wish her name was Mosquito. It would be perfect for her. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so funny. Let's see. Okay. You know, if I could make, like, one improvement to the Onion Knight, it would be, like... All the, all the passives like a couple passives like safeguard, dual wield. Cause like not having any abilities, yeah, is brutal in PvP. I don't yeah. think it matters so much in PVE because you're just like, dude, give this guy all your best stuff and chop your way through anything. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I do wish that they had passes at least to counter to counteract with their lack of ability slots. Um, but I will say this, without really going too much into it, the upcoming starter update will miraculously address that without actually addressing it. Um, as I get a little bit more into the beginning of next week, well, I technically we're on next week now, but probably about midway through the week, I'm going to get to post the synopsis for Starter 2.1 and kind of explain some of the, the changes that are coming, which will actually uh, adversely affect some of these things. So uh, I will say, like, Onion Knight in particular, though it's it's good, but also it has its quirks. Um, he actually, I think the job itself is actually better to some degree now because of the changes that are coming in. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And just to let everyone in the audience know that uh, Yoshinja has created a custom save file. That's what we're playing off of right now. And so periodically he will go through and make changes to the rosters. Um, and, uh, you know, that gives like a refresh. And some of your builds may have gotten buffed. Some of them may have gotten nerfed a little bit. And it kind of gives you... Um, you know, more of a reason to jump in and try something new. Uh, and it's all based on, like, player feedback and and testing. So it's not just, like, Yoshinja feels like Balthier is just way too unpopular and needs some love. No, it's not like that. Oh. Uh, that's, that's quite the opposite. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Is definitely a, as you were saying, it's definitely a culmination of um, player feedback, my own personal like experiences with PvP matches, even watching others. Like if you know, let's say you record a match with Jace or Sauce or somebody one night, and you post on your YouTube, even that type of uh, review, 
you know, plays a role in it. Say, Whoa, don't do that. Oh, my lord. Okay. That's... So... Ra Rajini, Rajini Lee would be so proud of you right now. I'm so glad. You would be so proud of you right now. <laughs> yes. How, Thank you, senpai. How dare you do that? Recognize me, please. Um, oh, my lord. So... I really wanted to show you this. Like, I think Entice is a little... <sighs> bannable for the next patch. Like, I've taken your Dragoon oh, out of your roster. So, like... Mm. You now have four people on your roster. I mean, you can, you can traitor them back. Right. But I've, you have to have speech, uh, Speechcraft to even do it. But I don't think they'll come back onto your team. It's like they're eliminated completely, and now they're under the AI's control. Like, I can't right. control a Dragoon. They're not on my... I don't get, like, an extra guy. So, like, if you kill all five of my guys without killing the Dragoon, I mm. still lose. Right, right. So yeah, it's... It's pretty it, interesting, it's, but... It like, is, it is. Um... <laughs> It's going. I don't think that will be a problem for the next update. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's. <laughs> I'm. I'm just gonna like. Yeah. I'm gonna gonna start doing some of this because. Um, I. I don't. I don't need to have him running around and terrorizing me at the same time. That wouldn't be cool. <laughs> and then this went off. So. so oh yes. Oh, that actually missed. I, that would have ah. been. That actually would have been a good thing though. So. In the long run. That's so funny. All right. This guy's still not doing anything. So I did like bring fast characters, but like that ninja has items. So he's kind of been slowed down, right? Mm -hmm. uh, items being completely reactionary. I can't, there's no, like, preventative buffing I can do with his ninja. He's just sitting there, like, waiting to attack someone or heal someone. Yeah. But it's a, uh, you know, items, uh, I assume you got throw items, right? On that one? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's, um, that's a pretty cool utility uh, for secondary ability. Uh, you know, ninja is always fast, so mm -hmm. being able to, you know, chuck an elixir or phoenix down or, you know, mid to late game could be a game breaker honestly depending on how the, the battle's going agreed and that was that was definitely the thinking uh behind that mm -hmm. oh man shira hidori <laughs> i love it hi i'm neo from the matrix we just catch your bullet catch, catch his bullet like nah <laughs> nah <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh man, but I got I got to say like despite their shortcomings, I do love the Onion Knight as like a theory crafting vehicle. Like I'm curious about five Onion Knights. I I think they can get wiped pretty easily. However, you can make them like you can equip anything you can give them clothes so you can make them super fast dude um oh man oh my goodness <laughs> brutal <laughs> we, we can I, I think we're we're still in good shape for now oh wow that that would hit for a lot it would, but it's the RNG that's uh that's not really my favor, and uh, I don't know. I, I seem to have a real bad problem with RNG characters or RNG abilities. They don't send to fire. I I wanted to bring I did want to bring Rafan because I think the last time we me and you had a match, um, mm -hmm. you know, I was well you I think you used, I think you brought uh, Merrick too on Riavanis yeah. rooftops or Castle Roof, whatever it's called. Um, and we were right. talking about that about you know. We don't see those characters often use which speaking of which they're getting some buffs in the next update because that's kind of the focus is to bring up the weaker unique uniques up instead of just bringing everything down 
So right on. Um, so hopefully they'll see a lot more play, but it's still just the RNG issue for me at least that I can't tend to land those abilities when I need them. Man, and I gotta say, like, the reason why we call the match Everything is Broken wasn't because I was rending everything, and, like, I gotta admit, my Ooh. RNG luck lately has been just on fire. Um, man, like, like that right there. No mana shield. Yeah. Oh, your poor dragoon. Oh. He just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, welcome to my team. I, I'm liking, uh, who is this? Lavian? It is. Is it, is it Lavian? Lavian. La Lavian. Uh, some, something. Something close enough. Lavian. Lavane. <laughs> I have much of a choice yeah. here, sadly. Um, especially with that unit under control, too. Uh, yeah, but... dude. The, the entice is just so disruptive. But I, I think my MA is 32. So yeah. it's basically a coin flip. It is. And I'm like trying to, you know, distill every little point of MA just for like a one to one. Um, one to one uh, uh, success chance increase. Right. Cause so, yeah. And it's, uh, I mean, that's fair. Like, that's you're able to get your MA high enough. You do need about 30, at least 30 plus to even get enticed to go off. Thankfully, that missed. That would have been really sad <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Let's see. What does this ninja have? Yeah, you do. Okay. Um. So, yeah, that, that's kind of the thing. Like, sure, you can give... Oh, did I just move myself out of... I believe you did. Line of sight? Wow, good yeah. one, Mikey. A tree. Okay, cool. Man, I, I play disc golf, so I, I already have, like, an aversion to trees. Have you heard of uh, disc golf? Yeah, yeah, we actually have a, we have a disc golf um, area at our one of our nearby parks. Nice, hell yeah! You don't play, do you? I don't. Uh, sure, I, I've never, I've never gotten into it, but I, I hear it's pretty cool. I just, I've never actually dabbled into it much. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, it's very, it's very accessible. Like, it's, it's easy to get just a starter set, go out to the course, and just start throwing it around. Yeah. Other disc golfers, I mean, for the most part, are super chill and nice. Um, and we'll gladly give you pointers. If you're like super new, they might even give you an old disc. Like that's how I collected my first couple discs. Um, that's pretty dope. Yeah, it's great fun, man. It's 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 awesome. It's great with kids too. Kids love that stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, nice one. There's that arcane defense really coming in handy. It is. Okay, finally I can take a pot shot at you. Uh, that is pretty decent, but I kind of want to revive my ninjas. That's a little more important to me. Any of them near 100 count time? Yes. Yeah, you do actually got one pretty much probably about two ticks away. He's ready. He's ready. Get back to work. Oh, yeah, he's one tick away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sleepyhead. Wake up. Got some killing to do. <laughs> Are you going on a killing spree? Oh man, I would love to track that stuff. Oh, like, like stats. Yeah, stats and like have somebody at the ready with like little sound effects. Like the triple kill should just make a screen shake and <laughs> crazy stuff going out. Yeah, you know. That would be, be pretty dope. What is the MA on that darn thing? Twenty nine. Okay. Is Chir Gerard going away in two point one? No, um, but. Hard so that no, that's not going anywhere. It's you know, it's still it requires you to be in range to get it. Um and it's still limited to one. High high chance to break. I think it's a twenty five percent chance to break. Um but True. what but what is kind of going down, if you will, is PA and MA stacking power. Got it. Okay. So like without giving too much away. 
Yeah. Um, so, for example, your Urias and oh, that GG, Black Mage. Oh, yeah, yeah, good game. I just realized the game's already over with because you took my darn Dragoon. <laughs> but did, did you notice that your Dragoon was missing from the roster of dead bodies? It, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, your – so the MA – the image that you have between your Rias and the that female black mage won't be as high. Um, there are some items getting banned outright to reduce stacking. So some of the damage you guys are seeing in this in these battles won't be. I won't say it won't be nearly as high, but that is kind of the point of what the goal of the next starter update is is to reduce some of the damage because some of it is, is a little bit high and some of it's because of the ability to stack so high in the MA and PA, which also coincidentally would also affect the stuff like Entice um, because of that, which yes. is why I was saying like I wouldn't really necessarily get rid of it because it's going to be inadvertently harder to pull off. Uh, quick question. What's um, up? Are, Let me reload. Do you have time for one more? Yeah, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, Good yeah, man. you have to spank me so darn quick in the first game. Like, you know, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> You you need redemption is what you need. So I gotta um, at least try to get one, maybe I, big maybe. I love that. I love that. Um, I'm I'm actually going to do a sub. Okay, sure. Don't look at my stream. I don't have a stream up. Just, just your chat. <laughs> Speaking of which, what are my? Uh, yeah, let's see what's going on in the chat. Hey, J Seven Js, what's going on, buddy? Um. And Mellow Marshmallow, good to see you. Cool. And there's Yoshinja. Hey, Yoshinja, nice to see you. Is I like to say, is Marvinous Luck the Discord by chance? Is Marvinous Luck? I luck. the the name sound the name seems familiar. Whoever you are, maybe. Especially like what you're up to. Yeah, especially with the. Uh, the focus on the they had a starter team, so that's why I was wondering because it's only a handful of people I know that have actually gotten really into starter so i'm wondering i'm curious but anyhow um You're one of like four people in the world <laughs> pretty much but while we're at it anyone that's watching that hasn't even gotten into um tactics pvp this is the best time to get into it there's going to be some updates coming out uh probably within probably honestly probably by the end of the week at this rate um since i'm pretty much done doing internal testing um, there's a lot of different formats to get into. There's generics, which is highly the most recommended one to get into for PvP sake because the generics pre-made format is designed where it's just pre-built characters using damage, tank, and support roles. Um, so that way it's kind of like if, if you come from like game, from other games that use damage, tank, support background, it kind of helps you kind of maybe feel a bit more at home in what you're getting into. Uh, the all the builds are tailored to deal you know certain amount of damage, certain amount of healing, um, based on said role. So it's something to kind of get into, kind of get your feet wet, if you will, and tactics PvP. And then there's also uniques and monsters pre-made, which are different variants, um, kind of all in the same format: damage, tank, support, and um, of course starter, which is what we're playing is the tactics league of like premier format as the, as the main competitive tournament format where you have the choice and freedom to build pretty much what you want within certain constraints. So um, if you guys haven't gotten into it yet, you know, please, by all means, hop into Discord, check the website out, get some information. If you need help, there's plenty of people to help. Like, we're here, we're a growing community. All it takes is just, hey, maybe we'll, maybe we'll check it out, and we can get you going from there. And just to piggyback off uh, what Yoshinja is, uh, talk about and feel free to get started with hosting uh sure. whenever you like host in three two one uh, i am a huge fan of the monster pre-made it's it's so easy to get into and it's super fun to like goof around with oh yeah definitely a a great way to like get familiar with the format mm -hmm. um and then yeah like come and hang out with the pros in the deep end with the starter format <laughs> <laughs> no the starter format is awesome when you're like this build works in pve and then you want to play against someone else's like pvp build it really changes the dynamic and i'm having yeah. so much fun 
like I think about it when I'm at work like oh well how can I squeeze in two more MA and make this silly build work um, and exactly. it's, it's awesome to be able to try it yeah yeah and that's I mean honestly I've had the same thing too like how can I make certain builds work right like it's it's pretty cool like the amount of customization that tactics offers and being able to get into that is amazing like there's there's just a lot of different things you can do um with this game and it's really great to see that there are a handful of things that you can do and being able to take that same stuff from like the story mode and, and being able to translate it into pvp and like being able to play against a real player versus the ai is such a different challenge and like creativity and fun and all of it in, in itself because it's like you know the ai sure ai is not bad it's you know designed around certain uh tools to handle battle but when you're going against another player who is thinking uh and contemplating their team comp and stuff like that it really changes the, the dynamic of the, the game that you're playing what is this what is this dynamic? I don't know, but we're about to find out. <laughs> yes! I love this on the path to redemption. You know what? I'm bringing out Worker 8. Outstanding. I love it. Worker Worker 8 is pretty awesome, man. Like, I don't know if a lot of people realize, but his his attacks, um, I believe it's all four of the attacks he has, they ignore mitigation completely. It doesn't matter if you have protect. What? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have protect show. Arcane defense or defensive boost, it hits flat every time. So, for example, um, this guy would hit a 340 dispose, regardless of your mitigation. Ooh, okay, okay. Yep, at, you know, at the cost of health every time, but when I get you for 340 flat, that's pretty, you know, pretty pretty nasty. That's good. That's that's fine by me. I did not know that. That's rad. And mm -hmm. the fact that he has um, Innocence um, or uh, Atheist. Atheist. Yep. Yeah, uh, I... Uh, is definitely helpful. Yeah, I've, I've been, you know, once again, going back to this, this 2.1 update that's coming out soon, uh, I went through each unique to try to figure out ways to better them, the ones that really need to be looked at. And, of course, he was one of them. Um, I think that he's sitting really well, other than that he's too slow. So I'm giving him a speed boost to compensate, but it's not going to make him like crazy fast. He's still going to be slow, but it should give him another turn or two on average be when compared to the speed metagame that we're in. So hopefully he play pans out a little better, but he has a lot of advantages. He's pretty much status immune other than confuse. He's, um, he's, you know, faith immune because of atheist. Yep. He doesn't take any elemental damage or it doesn't take any elemental damage other than lightning, non-faith lightning attacks. i got to be very specific about that. And his attacks ignore mitigation. Non... Non... Ooh, broke Ooh. through that Shiro Hidori. Yes, you did. But not the Mana Shield. Um, can, you, can you describe that lightning attack one more time? Yeah. Non, Non-faith based lightning attack or lightning damage. So that means that um, if I cast Thunder or Thundaga on him, it will do zero damage because he's Atheist. But if I deal, um, what's the move, um, Rius's Thunder Breath, then what happens, because that move it doesn't calculate with Faith, so he's going to take yeah. double double the damage because that is a non-Faith uh, Lightning yeah. attack. Yep. And the same goes for something right. like the, uh, I think it's called the Guy Bolg or Gay Bolg or whatever the pole arm. Uh, the That's lightning element form. Is it going near? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, um, the same applies to that too. Um, taking a basic attack from that, or maybe even a jump attack, would also do double the damage because it's elemental weak to lightning. No kidding, huh? There it's... you go. Well, I'm glad I brought it with, or I didn't bring it. No. See, I'm always thinking like, if I take Gungnir you're going to bring Minerva Bustier, or you're going to bring Sage's Ring, and it's going to nullify all the damage. Mm -hmm. But it would have been perfect for this matchup. Oh, look at you. Dirty. We'll see.
That's gonna one-shot me. So what can I do to pay it forward? And that's kind of the thing about jumping, is sometimes you're like off the rhythm, mm -hmm. and you could jump, but like, what's the point? You know, you're just removing yourself from the battlefield, and I guess that's fine, but at the same time, yeah, there are s there are some negatives to doing that too, especially like catching buffs or heals. Um, yes. It, it, like, I think jump does require a little bit of planning ahead, like like strategically uh, planning ahead. You know, mm -hmm. what what do you plan to do within the next couple of turns? And of course, first that requires looking at the turn order and seeing who's about to act and stuff like that, and then kind of utilize. Because sometimes it can maybe throw you off, and you know, maybe still rewarding in the damage that you deal. But let's see. Um. Speaking of which, I need to check the turn order for sure. I never check the turn order. I I should get in that habit. To everyone watching that gets that is interested in getting into PvP, check the turn order. It is definitely your friend. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Look at this chunky, chunky bro. Eight hundred fifty-two HP. Sir, good God! Oh, he's so cool. Yeah, I, like yeah, he's not he's not really utilized much um, because of like you know the the meta that we're in. I I do think that you'll I think he'll have more viability next next update though. Um, he, he it has a lot of van advantages. Uh, you, this biggest drawback is it you know that it can't um, that it can't be affected by faith based abilities and that it also. Um, that it also can't be uh, status. Like, you can't status as well with, like, mm -hmm. Iados and stuff like that. And that it's slow. But it has... I do think it has a lot of advantages. Like, you couldn't entice it. So that's that's a win-win, right? <laughs> you can just walk into him like, you know no what? Join, join the party. You know? No. Dude. That's amazing. I, I love entice. I'm all about it now. <laughs> I'm all in. Whoa. Good throw, good Did throw. Not get and the that's... mana shield proc on that. Ooh, wow, I can't believe he slid in under the under the door on that one. I yeah. think he got in right before your turn. Incredible. I did pump up his speed to the max. Not like it matters, he's at speed 20. Mm -hmm. um, because that's the same amount of ticks to get to 50 as speed 19, 18, or 17. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it does help for general turn order. Right, right. Um, yeah, we're, de we're definitely in a fast meta. Like, rush compositions that take advantage of high speed are... No, I want that to happen. Ooh, you're looking for the big bolt? No, it wasn't even that. I was I, I was trying to actually get your mana shield to fire off that so I can break your shield. But it did not happen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was that was actually one of the times I was like, come on, can I actually get the mantle rock? <laughs> <laughs> like, I want you to do well, you know. I, I I want to win the match, but I also, you know, feel bad when it's like I get all the mana shield procs and you get none. Mm. Ah, that's all good, man. That's his RNG for you. Like, what, what have you done to piss off Lady Luck? Everything. Everything wrong. You've been in the doghouse for a long time. <laughs> Hurt? And, like, dude, I've done like zero damage with this ninja. Look at—he just popped his invisibility. Mm -hmm. Oh crap! Big and chonky. Big and chonky, but I don't know if we're gonna. Let's see. Did I call him by his old school name, Worker 8? You did. You did. I mean, I, I do it sometimes, too. Uh, it's like the Soviet style. <laughs> it's like, dude, the Berlin Wall fell, bro. All right, another kill. Ooh, Let's go. Nice shot. All right. It's too slow, so we want to just end the turn out, right? Because it's just going to make CT go being slower. Can I? Oh, eh, I can. 
I must. Oh, man. That's brutal. Nice. That was a 1-2 combo. Yeah, it was. Nice play. Eh, try something different. I hope, hope to get the status out of anything, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I mean, like... I'm not sure about other players, but I kind of go light on the debuff mitigation. Um, I just try and like max my stats, my speed, my MA or uh, PA, well, mostly my speed and my MA. But mm -hmm. um, that's where Geomancy, I think, is like a hidden gem in this meta um, is because I don't I don't think debuff immunity is very widespread. It's not. Yeah, it definitely isn't. Most people tend to stack towards damage than protection or status immunities. Which, you know, could take advantage of. Because currently, yeah, yeah. yeah, currently it's all about PA and MA stacking, right? I love Geomancy. And it is not difficult to like buff your your geomancy to actually do decent damage. Yeah. Um yeah, like geomancer class stats are not bad. Be gentle. Uh well, you know, honestly I, I have to go for it because sadly no, but I had I had to risk it. <laughs> I, I was hoping I get hoping then proc that manage shield, but seventy eight percent bravery. Pro probably going to fire. So, is there a reason why his bravery is so high? I That's thought his... everyone's was sixty. Mm, no, so the the uniques, uh, all uniques have their starting bravery and faith, like starting meaning like when they first join the the roster in the story. Um, now, I will say that there is going to be some faith augments in two point one because of the balancing adjustments that I'm doing. So uh, there will be a few characters that will actually have their stuff changed around a little bit, but the, the generics aren't being touched. They're still 60-60. But the the, um, the characters that are see, the characters that are unique will have uh, will have their own values. Let's see negates. Nah, perfect. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead and do and do this. Ah. Oh, nice. Oh, it missed. Well, I've got Minerva. Because it's a dark attack. Yep. Exactly. And yep. Minerva. Yep. I will save, save, save the play. Make that play. Yep. That was cool. That was a good play. I still was trying to get past that darn mana shield, but you still have a little bit of MP left. Well, you, well not anymore, but... That was the goal with that again, was to try to drop that shield out completely. Clutch little Phoenix Downs here and there. Yeah, definitely works. And I think it's, you know, important when you do have jump to have, like, to put it on a character that can do something else. Uh, mm -hmm. Like jump on knights, like yeah, they do have a lot of physical attack and high weapon power, and seem like a strong choice for jump. Yeah. But like, it's either jump or arts of war or melee attacking. Like on the ninja, I can throw and jump, so I always have like and, and melee, of course, because ninjas are OP. Mm -hmm. But um, you know. It, it, it plays off of one another. There's a synergy between, like, the medium range, sometimes long range throwing, long range jumping, and the short range melee. Right. Oh, man. My guys are getting blasted. I also love that the way that attack looks. Oh, it's badass. <laughs> Pretty cool animation. Oh, damn it. I kind of did not want to kill you with the flail. Trying to get the Orochi. Uh, to get the Orochi. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Um, I seen what you were up to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that coming. I 
All right. It's just me and the robot, the steel giant. Oh boy. Okay. Well, for, other, for those that do not know, uh, Construct 8 does have a innate uh, defense boost as well. So, uh, thankfully, he'll be able nice. to take a little bit less damage, but that's also because he can't get protect. But I'm still about to get clobbered on in a second, so, you know. There's also that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to be protecting against all that coming in. Um, I wonder if I throw the, whatchamacall, do more damage. Throw what? Oh, uh, uh, the name of that Gungnir? Spear. Gungnir. It, it should, maybe. I'm not too sure. That's actually a good question. I don't know if it takes, I don't know if it inherits the weapon's element. Now, it does inherit the weapon status capabilities, like if you throw Nag Nagnarok, you could have a chance to Toad, so it's a small chance, but it is a chance on the last side. So, I would assume, yeah, I would assume it does. Maybe, maybe for science. I have it equipped on somebody, unfortunately. Yeah. Spark Bomb does damage. It does. That's kind of cool. There you go, guys. The first ever Spark Bomb in Sardar. Let's go. Yeah, word. <laughs> okay. Hey, GG! Yeah, I gotta say, uh, Contract 8 is definitely intimidating. Um, I, w I would definitely save him for last. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. That was fun, though. I enjoyed it. That was fun. I, dude, every, every game I, I play of this is just an absolute blast. Um, it, like... It's just, it, it's elevating the typical tactics experience. Um, I, I, sh I should get in the habit of playing more Rendezvous. Um, the matches that I have played in yeah. Rendezvous have been a lot of fun too. And yeah. I, I think people need to see that side of it, the co-op side. Yeah. Uh, because it really is about like grinding out your own guy and seeing if you can complete the challenges with less and less. Right. And you get rewarded more and more. Exactly. So, I think that's definitely something to, um, like, I, honestly, I'm kind of surprised you haven't already done it, um, especially with you doing the story <laughs> content. I mean, just to be honest with you, uh, with you doing the story content and stuff, like you've been doing prior on your channel, uh, I'm surprised I haven't actually done, done it, like a rendezvous playthrough for, like, you know, for your channel and stuff specifically. But, uh, I mean, I, that definitely sure. sounds pretty cool. Yeah, though. let's do it. Yeah. Um, I, guess I, I guess I should. Yeah, like maybe, um, I know, I, I don't, I don't have, I have my personal save. But it's like somewhere in one of my memory sticks. But um, you know, worst case, <laughs> I, I just could... imagine like this drawer in the kitchen. You open just pulling it, it memory up. sticks everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd be I'd be down, to, you know, to check it out one day and uh, maybe do like a stream off that. Or worst case, you do like a uh, use like the, the generic pre-made roster. Maybe like was it like two or three units for each player? I think. Like That's when correct. You... Yep. So maybe take like two of them and you bring your own two or something. I I don't know, but. I mean, I think what would be dope is like solo Ramza for each player. Yeah, yeah, even that, yeah. Make it super challenging. Yeah. Uh, and, it, you know, like, it'd be, it'd be tough on the, the players who are getting through it, and it would be a good way to show how challenging the actual maps are to the audiences, too. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to see them and play them is through multiplayer. Exactly. Um, I think we are... Yep, we are at the 4 o'clock mark, Yosh, and I know you have uh, stuff to do. You're three hours ahead of me. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, do you want to uh, give out some closing thoughts or some shout-outs before I write us on home? Sure, sure. Um, you know, first, good game to you once again, Mikey. Oh, it was pretty fun doing the... Yeah, uh, great. It wasn't necessarily the best of three because you ended up kicking my ass in all three, but we still did a full <laughs> match, which in Tactics League would be three games in a match or up to three games in a match. Yeah. Um, so, you know, good game to you first and foremost. Uh, thank you also to Tactics Live Tournament's community for being here and, you know, joining and watching as well as some of the folks from Tactics League. I recognize a couple of names from Tactics League. Uh, that's also here in the stream. So thank you guys for you know coming in and checking out this uh, starter format melee match that me and Mikey uh, were performing for you guys live. Uh, thank you guys for you know <laughs> coming in and having a little chit chat and you know just 
throwing out, throwing out support is also like that's a such a big deal. Um, and it's so important for both of us to you know make sure that you know people are you know coming in, hanging out, and you know showing some you know interest and enthusiasm. So that's that's always a big thing too. Um, I hope that you know for those that had gotten into Tactics League or just the tactics side of PvP. Um, hopefully that after you guys watch these games that maybe you know you're interested in want to check it out and i believe mikey has the tactics league website in the youtube description so make sure to check that out at tacticsleague.com um a lot of different guides a lot of different information as well as the discord link to the server is there as well uh so you know feel free to hop in and even if you're not even necessarily wanting to come in for pvp just you know you're a fan of tactics in general and you like the story we have a lot of folks uh, that are also that come in and chit chat about story stuff too. So this isn't isn't necessarily just a PvP community. It's a tactics community first and for, first and foremost. It's everyone that's you know that enjoys PVE and it's everyone that enjoys PvP as well. So you know if you just love tactics in general, hop on in, come have a chit chat with us. Maybe find a rendezvous partner if you want to get into that, or find a melee partner and, and throw down some matches. Hell yes. Uh, 100% on everything about that. Thank you, Yoshinja. Uh, yeah. I appreciate your time uh, to come, you know, not, not just like show everyone how easy it is to PvP, because you and I, we get our matches on fairly frequently. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you're 100% you're correct. Like, we want to inspire others to get into this type of gameplay too, because it is easy and you can have quick matches. I mean, you could be, you know, heading off to bed and you're like oh man this build is won't let me sleep pop into tactics league and i bet someone like myself or yoshinja will be glad to help you test out that build um or anything tactics related in general yep. so yes thank you again yoshinja for coming by and spending some time uh with me in the channel um i'm gonna go ahead and close this out so i will see you next time yoshinja Take all care, right buddy. it was a pleasure joining your channel and your stream as well thank you And then there was one. So my personal thanks to everyone that joined us on the live stream today. I'm going to go through the list. We have Austin, Resistikill. Hey, guys. Uh, J7 and Jace, thank you so much. Marvinus and Luis. Rolando Tovia.